Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to Throwbacks, where we talk all things cool and retro. Today, we're going to be talking about the Dungeons and Dragons Strongheart action figure by NECA. Now, uh, this figure's been out for a little while now, but I was lucky to pick one up recently for a good deal, because I wasn't going to pay like 60 bucks for one. So anyway... Let's take a look. Pretty cool packaging. Pretty neat. Uh, I dig the art on these. Uh, sadly, there's some stickers and crap in the way there. But oh, I'm going to open him up here anyways. It doesn't really matter. Because there's what we're going to be looking at. This fine looking armored gentleman in there. Strong heart from the Dungeons and Dragons franchise. Uh, originally made by LGN uh, in the early 80s, which was kind of a hit. I used to dig it. And uh, cool, let's take one good look at this nice artwork there before we rip him out of there. All right. And we're back, and he looks great. Uh, sorry, I skipped around a bit. I thought I'd save you from uh, listening to me wrestle around with loud plastic soon to be garbage uh for like five minutes and uh just look at the figure and he is a beauty he looks great and I, I like the little backdrop he comes with i'm not gonna use it but it's pretty cool and you know that's cool i dig it very thoughtful to put that in there as part of the packaging and let's look at that sculpt beautiful beautiful a mustache that man of arms would be jealous of and the texture on his armor is phenomenal it's probably not going to show up in the video but trust me it looks good and he's got a nice blue uh chain mail there also beautifully painted blue leather boots looking very awesome and uh let's see what is that? he's got some knives or something in his gauntlet there i don't know uh, his cape is beautiful. Um, let's see. He's got, what is that, like chains and stuff on the back of his armor. Pretty cool. Should be like a like a 90s wallet hanging below there somewhere. Uh, neat, nonetheless. So much detail on this guy. I just want to make sure you guys just drink it all in because it is gorgeous. And my, he came very nice out of the package, believe it or not. War Duke was quite a pain to get out of the package, and it was very noisy. So I skipped that part, and, you know, maybe y'all didn't like that. That's why we, you know, we only had like 25 views on the War Duke. <laughs> and speaking of War Duke, I was going to do a comparison between the two, but I, I can't find him. Maybe he got depressed and left home, went back to the realm. I don't know. I don't know where, <laughs> I don't know where he went, but anywho, uh, strong arm. He looks great. I bet he does have some strong arms. And yes, his uh, visor does come down. And look at that. That is awesome. Who didn't want that to happen on the original action figure, huh? Because I did. That's cool. And he comes with a slew of hands. He's very handy, folks. He comes with, uh, you know, his grippy hands. Uh, more grippy hands. And he's got his knife hands, like, you know, War Duke over there. You know, uh, and we're going to switch one of them out so he can hold his accessories, which usually we do first, but sometimes we don't. All right. Oops. <laughs> Put the wrong hand on. Your other hand, knucklehead. All right. There he is. So he's got the right hand on. And, you know, moving him around, got some great articulation. Uh, you know, the shoulder bells move. They're like a separate piece. I think the armor is like a separate piece glued down. Cape is obviously separate. It's this beautiful soft goods material. Very shiny, very pretty. Uh, and he comes with his uh cricket plant i mean no his this is his hammer i think this is the hammer he had in the in the cartoon if i'm not mistaken he just 
Uh, they gave him a hammer, a magic hammer for some reason. Lucky's Thor, but you know, that's cool. See if he can hold it. Uh, and he holds it well enough. All right. And here is his scabbard for his actual sword. Oh, and there's a little sheath hidden on the inside for a knife that he do he does have it. Yep, there it is. There's his knife right there. And it goes on there like so. And this doesn't have a peg or anything. It just kind of goes into this uh, thingamajig here. And there it is. Uh, but his actual sword, there to go, here it is, and it looks, it's very thin, it looks like it might be a bit fragile if I'm honest, but it is painted beautifully, and it does have some great detail, could easily be like a Lord of the Rings sword or something, let's let him hold that, what do you say, he looks cooler with a sword, I think, and there he is with his sword, very cool. And again, I was going to put him side by side with War Duke. But <laughs> War Duke went AWOL, folks. I don't, I don't know what happened to him. Uh, but I will show you what he looks like next to his vintage self. And I think it's a very good homage. And you can definitely see they didn't overdo it, but they darn sure didn't underdo it either. I think he looks great. Good old strong heart. All right, let's, yeah, you know, it's, it's, uh, let's see, let's put him, who else can we put him next to? Let's see, here's Revelation He-Man, which he's taller than, he's taller than He-Man, wow. Let's see, here is a G.I. Joe classified low light. So, you know, you can see he's a good bit taller than the six inch scale action figures. So here he is next to Marvel Legends, Captain America also a good bit taller than him so you know they're, they're definitely their own scale um they, they might be more in line with like uh super seven ultimates or something like that but if you've got NECA figures you, you know they're a little bigger than the average bear so uh, you know what to expect already um so let's see what else can i show you uh, that's probably about it showing you next to his vintage self and who else do we have over here some other little vintage Dungeons and Dragons guys that, you know, whatever. <laughs> they're, they're their own scale, too. So it doesn't, doesn't really matter, but there is Strongheart from uh, Dungeons and Dragons, the new NECA action figure. And he may possibly be on sale near you, so go get him, man. He's great. Definitely a good, good pickup on my part. Ha <laughs> ha, dig it. So... That's all I got for you today. Thanks so much for hanging out, checking this video out. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, I'm going to throw one back. And until next time, we'll see ya. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>